We are controlling transmission. Greetings, my starseeds. The following topic is has been been in the air and in the works for a long time as astrology suggests we are getting turned on by nature uh, kundalini is rising and this energy as in the complex and internal and intimate sexual self seeks to express itself not in a perverted way um, not in a forceful way in an attractive, in a direct way of how we find ourselves. Which brings me to the era people have been asking me over and over, how is it that I can't seem to attract my twin flame? It doesn't work. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you how you set yourself up for failure. And I'll tell you how you set yourself up for success. Here's what I did. When I met my twin energy, because I think the ultimate marriage is you and your higher self. You're married, period. You just need a partner to reflect on that. To see that, once you're in the higher realms, that's not even required anymore. Which doesn't mean you have to turn into a nihilist, or what's it called? Nihilist. To deny everything, I don't need a partner, I don't need an experience. You're here to experience all your chakras. Even when people mention celibacy, it's, uh, <clears throat> I have to um, go into what Krishnamurti said, is if you want to sit you know in a cave to go into the heavenly realms and explore uh, the the state of mental hemispheres you can do that it doesn't make you more or less pure as as, as people trying to sell that the sexual energy is impure that's the thing that the church has sold us for thousands of years that is an impurity and it's animalistic wrong <clears throat> that's also part of the era of the gnostic texts that by cell memory, we are still influenced, whether you know them or not. All of these religio program structures are sitting like templates on us, and we are losing that. <clears throat> That's why in the 60s with the LSD era, love was opened and freely explored because uh, that substance, that psychedelic substance, back then, uh, it took the inhibitions of people and love was released many good things came forward many creative beings and children were born from that era which ultimately the status quo had to destroy because a wandering free and open loving spirit that's out of control we need settlers and marital contracts on marital uh, law of the sea status and who owns the goods and who is the provider and who's the who's the one dependent on the provider so that program was like woman child bearer a, a breeder sorry to say but this was, was the, the um, 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 a patriarchal program that we were under that now needs to heal <clears throat> and whether people believe it or not and even people say i don't believe in the bible you're under the influence of everyday life what people believe in somebody says to you you believe in god you have an image when somebody says paint an image of jesus i bet you everybody right now with a pencil can paint the image that you remember because that's the doctrination of tv kindergarten church wherever you've been it's a program that everybody responds to we are all under that spell of what is not really right now real right now right now we're not leaving living in a jesus age we're not leave, li living in horus age or pakalvotan or odin or zeus we're not living in that age we're living now with the echo of remnant collectives of a mythological belief system we need to weave through that and find out what is the reality <clears throat> take a sip of reality right now right here in life to participate so bringing it back to before i drift off we aquarians can do that back to the twin flame era first of all a twin flame per se uh, doesn't really exist that way what you can do is you can attract a partner and you can create a twin energy with that partner by doubling up or quadrupling even your kundalini energy as in a creative force not just sexual everybody gets that so confused but if somebody says well i'm not having sex um you know and you cut your uh, your sacral and your root chakra it's like cutting the root from a tree that is it can't work you're here by the source or by god or allah or buddha whatever you pray to 
you have all organs in the body all organs need to work it's not like I don't need my liver because I don't detox meaning I don't need sex because I don't need the exchange to connect to the heavens actually to have a climax to come to come into myself to see who I am um, get be clear if you deprive your sacral and root chakra from that action you cutting uh, 20 to 30 percent of your chakratic system you're cutting it off that doesn't make you more blessed you're not going into higher realms you're not I, I hear people telling me well but I'm talking to higher dimensional beings and I'm getting all these downloads uh, 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 one second real quick if if the downloads this is where we are this is the age of knowledge is no more the age of belief see my downloads translate into things that can that I can plot out how I train myself and when I communicate to an intelligent uh, sentient life forms that I make sure the information is translated properly and um, I can do something in service for the people and the planet so we can get there but people live under the illusion in their own mental mind construct of you know it's like uh, co-created Hollywood characters of the self it's not you going into other realms no you ain't still within yourself you haven't left yourself um, you're not even planetary spirit level there's planetary there's quantum level there's very high levels of dimensions that you can actually go into from the self but some people uh, prefer to live in dream state that's theta and theta is not delta what does that mean theta means you're living in a theoretical mind state you're probably living with your parents you're not getting at so I have to say this you're not getting shit done you're not moving out and I speak to star seeds that get their act together they move out they set up shop they have an Etsy store uh, a friend of mine has sold 2,000 items makes hand hand made items has up to 500 items up in her store and is in business because she's working for it so there's no excuse right now for us star seeds to not do what we have to do I do diligence and I service for the planet to be here and do that and activate that <clears throat> also the reason why most of you don't or can't attract your twin flame is the following when you here's what I did I had flings I was living it you know and didn't really concentrate on it was 2000 around 2011 um, attracting a twin flame I was not even obsessed with the thought Many of you are obsessed with my twin flame has to be this. I want a long-term relationship, this and this and this and this. Nobody says, let the universe provide me with what I need to learn my lesson while I'm here. I'm open. That's what I said. So I, I, I had my contacts. I, I met other women. And then my partner showed up with the openness that I have within myself, leaving myself open. And I didn't look for her she wasn't looking for me and this is how it works when you stop looking it comes for you did you ever had that let's say you misplaced your car keys and you're going nuts like people go nuts they're running around mm, i want my twin flame damn and you know and and, and and i listen to conversations and exchanges with people and what they tell me and the twin flame has to be even the top this for spiritual people that are into yoga, into mysticism, in intellectual and whatnot, they tell me love cannot be shared. Very interesting. How can you be a spiritual being? How in the world can you say the, the rays of the sun cannot be shared? If I would say I'm married, let's say in a monogamous mind state, just to the sun, and I'm not sharing the sun with anybody, all life would die and I would live. That would be very, very miserable, wouldn't it? So I say, in an open mind state, and it doesn't mean break up or do this or be polyamorous or no labels. You go with what you feel. You'll be transparent about it and dance with it and don't make it a program. You want to attract somebody that you can experience life with that uh, is according to you, clear communication, Get over your fears and leave yourself open 
for it to happen. In the meantime, have fun. I cannot bear to see people say, say, well, if I have to sit there for five years, I'm not going to have any partners until my twin flame arrives. You're setting yourself up for somebody that will arrive. It's going to be long distance. It's probably not going to be in the same city. You want him to move or you want her to move and you don't want to move or she doesn't want to move or they got jobs and you're setting yourself up for, hey, this is not working. Because in, in order for somebody to move towards you, whether it is Goyle or boil, girl or guy, um, they have to sacrifice by giving up their 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 safety zone, their 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 comfort zone. Very difficult. Let it flow. I say, people, have fun. Do not wait for the twin flame to show up. Some people have fun and have have their flings, and all of a sudden, in one of the flings, that being shows up, and it's all well. Do not predict how, it's like the dating sites. I'm looking for long-term relationship, possible marriage, possible kids, da 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 da, da. If, you pro, if you set a program as in an absolute rule and regulation, you're setting the universe up for, there's no opportunity to really find what's for you. Say the affirmation that I leave myself open to what the universe presents to me at the time needed. Not wish, desired, hoped, or wanted. What is needed by the mind right to come to you and for you. And it might be two. It might be three. It might be one. You can't predict that. Love is love. It is an intense field. And billions of people on this planet are made in love. So love is shareable. And when you share a movie, just as an example, are you jealous? No, because you don't have all the personality programs running that you're sharing a person. People have that. Insecurities, fear of love. <clears throat> is my sexual performance good enough? Um, is hers good enough? Is she feeling safe? Our needs being met. All of this stuff be put in our escrow to make believe that this is how it works is actually how it not works. So, leave yourself open. Make your encounters in cyberspace, online, offline, explore, and speak your truth. When I spoke my truth, I got kicked out of the, uh, my apartment, you know? I was in a relationship. When I was in a business relationship and I was in a house and I spoke my truth of my freedom, I got kicked out of the house. The challenge is, and a friend of mine also had a relationship wanted it a little bit different spoke her truth wasn't talking about leaving and <clears throat> you know what happened to women please consider a hundred years ago you were an outcast you if you were in a society the male picked you up you had no voting rights that's in your in your genes you know you have cell memory and some of us will still act like that and i want us to heal that and when you had a desire for somebody else in town, which was a natural feeling. I'm not saying that this is cheating. This is what you feel. Maybe you're falling out of love. That's also natural. Don't beat yourself up over this. Same thing, the peace dealer, astrologist, latest astrology. I love this guy. He said something very, very powerful. Um, he said, if you have addictions, to sex or you want to have visual stimuli because the energy is high don't beat yourself up because you want to express that the worst thing is that the science has proven if you suppress sexual energy and you don't do anything with yourself or a partner ever in life that most likely can lead to cancer or any other diseases because of love energy that comes in and flows through you is not freely flowing and the best way I heard people have experienced that in Tantra, where Tantra is based on doing that with different partners. Um, and Tantra is not equal sex, don't get that wrong. But, and I know this is a controversial subject, kids have a polyamorous mind state. They arouse the same way a grown-up is when grown-ups can have sex, but kids are not thinking that. So in kindergarten, when Peter plays with Barbara and the next weekend he plays with Claudia, they don't hate each other for changing partners on play sets they play with. This is where the human race used to be. 
and we killed that with when well, you're a grown up, you know. You see, Barbara is your friend, and she gets upset when you play with Claudia. And then we are as parents, we, I mean, I don't have any kids, so I have kids on ships, but not on earth. <laughs> and then, we, then we, we explain why you have to have fear now that somebody is upset because they exclusively want to own you. And that's where sex exclusivity comes in and ownership and all of these insecurities. And <clears throat> yeah, we have Pornhub with 80 million visitors a day because we're not being satisfied. We're, 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 we're having partners where somebody sleeps with their longtime partner but has fantasies of uh, other groupings or togetherness or another person. Why is that psychologically so deep within us? Why are we seeking the freedom of expressing ourselves without being judged for it? And especially the girls. You know, when, when a guy has, and this is what the video sell, has a couple of chicks, yeah, he's the man. Yo, got this chick, yo, you hit that, yo, I hit that, yo, this, that, and you're the man. But if a girl says, well, you know, I, you know, I have this date on this weekend, this and this. My, my mom pimped it, you know, she had in different countries dudes, but they couldn't live with her because she, um, we were her priority. But she, she kept her household in control. I say respect if, if that's how you're living, if that's how you want it, respect. Um, but see, if a woman uh, sleeps around, it's promiscuous, and then it comes the slut shaming, the downgrading, it's not okay, that's not what you do. Maybe uh, women, let's say in their mid 20s, have to explore that to find themselves before they get. See, my, my grandma, when she was alive, you get married at 19 or uh, 21, and that's it, and you don't do, you don't do nothing. Everything is, you know, it's like none. None of this, none of that. <laughs> and it's like uh, monastery and it's nothing is allowed. And you, you wouldn't even know what they found out in all of these ancient monasteries um, where the, the uh, nuns got busy with the priests in secret, having children, giving their children up for adoption and whatnot. All of the stuff hidden by the church because we are natural beings. We are natural love. We are sexual energy is expressed in love. And this is what you see. There's no doubt about it. And if we want to force, suppress, and downgrade that, that's not the way. That's going extinct. That's why the millennials are more open by looking at partners in a different way. Not trying to get married that soon. Around 30, most likely they're not married. And they're exploring and it's okay. Some have addictions, they really, really wanna, wanna explore themselves. It's okay, don't beat yourself up. It's not like you're drinking coffee, doing coke, meth, or whatever not. Make love, not war. So now make conscious love. That's the new word, Google that, sapiosexual, meaning if the mind perturbs you, then the body can do that too. The surface society and status quo is dits here, hot body, and sexual control. And we want to actually eradicate that and come into, this is where I am, this is how I feel, this is my truth. And maybe you have an attraction for somebody, they don't feel your truth. You need to speak your truth. And if they want to walk away, let them walk away. If you want to attract a twin flame, let the notion, the preconceived programming of what this should be go. Have fun in the meantime. Don't fix yourself. And I spoke to many women that allow themselves that freedom and am empowered by that, you know, I don't care what you call or what you label me. I'm exploring this right now and I'm not committing myself because I don't want to because I don't feel that. And if that's what you feel, give that space, female and male. Allow yourself to feel Commit to you, not in a selfish way. Don't abuse and don't manipulate. But commit to, this is me, this is how I feel. This is how I feel in the moment. And many times I've also seen that online, what people tell me, what I observe. People engage conversations, people flirt, then they drop off, then they come back, then for a couple of days you don't hear anything. Somebody, and I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about people that, you know, uh, Clients in general, I'm rounding it up as a collective in my yearly readings. Very, very booked, luckily, 
where they share that with me whether this is not the even if if we want to talk about extraterrestrial races are you a my lab uh, situation what race is dealing with you who are your visitors when we go into this or what's your subconscious reset they say uh, rah, on a side note about you know sexual energy relationships kundalini and such and they want to know they ask me so this is in the ether that's why i'm sharing this so i say leave yourself open do not make fixed programs and don't believe uh, the next expert that has a million followers or the next guru that has a million followers. They all get busy. They all, I don't care what the, what the name of these Yanandas, this, that and the others. These people, make no mistake, are not abstinent. Even if one of them or two say you have to. They're smiling, they're happy, and you can see in the aura if they, if they have a, a sexual healthy life, that is okay. There's no blame in that. No God, no ascended masters, no nothing comes from the heaven and blames you. It's the word put by mankind that puts you in fear and puts you into a belief system that we got stuck in for thousands of years so we would settle, so we would control, we would breed slaves for the mining operations, for the gold and all of this. And so all major cities were based on this draconian, Anunnakian, Niburian principle of slaves that are mentally controlled. And Enki was the one who went into the Garden of Eden and said, you don't have to go by genetic profile like my brother Enlil is telling you. So he whispered in the ears and it wasn't Satan, you know. Um, he said, you can pick your partner, the one that you feel, not the one that my Lord of Command, Enlil, tells you to pick. And then all hell broke loose because the protocol of controlled breeding was broken. Well, we're still running that program. Why is it that the divorce rate is higher than the rate of marriage? They're more in business. And, uh... See, in Germany, I'm half German, it's what, 60% of uh, young mothers are without the man raising the children and no community there to back them up. Well, this tells you something. Preconceived notions of how and where and my partner should be like, and that's for male and female. Do not have a preconceived construct of this is the partner that I require. Tell the universe to... Leave yourself in that openness to deliver to you when there is the time to meet the one that is understanding, understanding of your lifestyle. Whether it's open, closed, monogamous, polyamorous, whether you're working the porn industry or not, they will be on your side unconditionally loving you. Because the other thing that we're doing is we're conditioning it. And we are talking about unconditional love. And in the same, same token, another woman told me that uh, I don't share my love. Wow. I'm st I would stay the hell away from that. Because it's like the little child has the fire truck. Or the little girl has the Barbie house. And friends come over. And nobody touches the Barbie house. Nobody touches the figures. Nothing is being shared. That's problems in life. I was the one I said, you know, you know, I don't have much, but here, even if I have my, my, my mom sometimes went back outside and said, you're giving away your best toys. And I said, I want the kids to have fun. You don't get no trophies for this. You get no Oscar or Grammys. Uh, it's not validated. You, they, they, they call me weak. I'm too emotional. I'm too open. I said, you know, I don't own anything. I have the pleasure and the honor to be on this planet to share what I can share with whoever is in agreement with me right now here. And that I am thankful for. And that is as long as it is, it is. And sh sh should it change, then I will should be open for change and not trying to stay in an egoic comfort zone where I feel safe. And I let it go and let the universe show me what is it I need to do to serve the planet better? Where do you want me to go? And that's my happiness. And that's how I left Germany and went to Sedona. It just showed up and it said, this is what's needed. Change it needs to be taking place. And this is what you're already doing. And this will be modulated and you'll embrace this. So I say in the meantime, if you're not with your twin flame right now, don't be a freaking nun or a priest. Don't punish yourself. Have fun. Go out meet people explore expand and only when you let that go and you dare to explore without making rules 
Only then your magic can unfold. The downloads that you seek will be revealed and more power comes to you as a Jedi. And um, you can't debunk that. That's nothing to be debunked. If you are selfless and you don't condition that, look who wants to dance with you for whatever duration it is. And you'll be more in joy, more in love, more expansive, bigger and greater than you were ever were. And that is how you can attract what's needed when you stop edging it out, cutting it out, putting it in the box and saying, this is, this, these are the conditions that I want. It's not about what you want. It's about what your soul needs at the time given. Nothing more, nothing less. And on that note, Actors Ra will most certainly see you on the joyous, bright, enlightened flip side. Peace.